All new at 530, one Central Florida school district is looking to make a potentially big change that could impact your kid's day by hours. Marion County is considering creating uniform start and end times across the district, potentially changing start and end times to the school day by hours for some kids. News Six's Brian Didlake is digging into why and how some parents are feeling about it. The proposed bell schedule changes have been a discussion with many points of view among parents here in Marion County. The district tells me while they're trying to address any concerns, there's a reason why they chose those times. There's no way that I can be <laughs> available for my physicians and patients if I'm spending two hours in the morning driving back and forth to school. As a working mom with kids in both middle and elementary school, Shayla McGlynn says she is worried about what it will look like getting her kids to school this upcoming fall. <laughs> Marion County School Board will be discussing potential changes for when students start and end school for the 2024-2025 school year. In this proposal, you see changes for all grade levels. Elementary, the start time going back a few minutes, just a little after 7.30 a.m. Middle, those times are nearly two hours later. In high school, their start time would be 8.30 in the morning. What are you hoping to, to get across to our, our school board members? I want them to realize that this change doesn't just affect parents trying to get them to school it reasonably and make sure that their kids are on time but it also affects children in their after school projects. And now more parents have commented online, some for, some against, and some looking to get results for both parents and the school board when it comes to these potential changes. The district tells me that parents need to understand that they're taking every viewpoint seriously. It's been a huge challenge for us this year. Bus drivers are hard to find. We're a growing school district. Kevin Christian, a spokesperson for the district, says it's a sink problem. Christian says the committee over the the proposed changes try to maximize student time in the classroom while taking into account the circumstances of some 24,000 students riding buses in the district. You know, we have to look at the schedule. We have to look at what's best for students. Often what is best for students is not what's best for adults. These bell schedule changes come as the district prepares to comply with a new law passed last year. Encourage parents to speak up because we want everyone to be part of the process. Now, Tuesday's school board meeting is a work session to discuss those potential bell time changes. A vote is expected to happen at a later time. You can find more information about that on our website at clickorlando.com. But for now, we are in Ocala. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.